I think most of all, and I always say this, I think it's so important to love what you do. When I'm out there and I love what I do, I win my match. It's so easy. Sometimes I'm complaining a little bit more and I'm like and I'm winning it a little less easy. So after, you know, I just really feel like the biggest lesson I learned is to really love it. De har snart gått 12 år sedan Serena Williams tog sig allra högst upp på tennistronen för första gången. Sen dess har vi fått se en karriär fylld av både fram- och motgångar när skadorna avlöst varandra. I slutändan har hon ändå stått där som en segrare och trots att Williams vunnit allting av betydelse så njuter hon av livet som tennisspelare lika mycket nu som när det först begav sig. I, I do enjoy, I do enjoy um, being out here and if I don't I need a break, I'll take a break. I never want to feel like I don't enjoy every moment I step out on the court to play. My life doesn't start and end with tennis. It's a bonus. I've been really fortunate to be able to play and to be able to be pretty good at it and to be able to be successful at it. But um, there are some ups and downs. You know, I've had a few injuries that I wasn't really happy about, but I had also a wonderful support team that was able to get me through it. And, you know, I, I think behind every great athlete or great individual, there's always a team that helps them get through and to get there. Serena Williams kommer till VTA-turneringen här i Madrid som regerande mästare. En mästare som dessutom innehar rollen som ohotad världsätta. Och Williams är ju utan tvekan den spelare på toren som alla vill slå. When I'm not the top player, it sometimes I'm still the one to beat, and so it's like pretty much most of my career, it's always been, you know, I've always had to play really, really well against everyone. It's, Serena Williams! it's a privilege to be where I am. I'm happy to be here, and the pressure that comes with it, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to embrace it, and I'm going to enjoy it. So, what would you say is the most uh, common misconception people have about you? Well, I think people think that because I play, I'm so serious on the court and I'm so like this and I'm so tough. And I think people think I'm a different person because um, I'm super, super funny. I'm super, super like girly. Um, yeah, and I cry a lot. You know, if it's a lot of traffic, I cry always because I'm always like, oh, I don't like traffic. You know, I'm just, it's a little bit too much actually. So when was the last time you cried? Yesterday. Okay, yeah, how I, come? I, I average about five times a week. <laughs> okay, how come? I mean... Because I was watching this movie Gravity Ah. and the mm. guy died and I, I didn't know. know he was going to die and I just started bawling and I stopped. I couldn't watch anymore. It's just too much. I don't like sad movies. I like happy movies. It's horrible. Få spelare inom tennisen har uppnått den stjärnstatus som Serena Williams har, både på och utanför banan. Genom hela karriären har hon blivit synonym med sporten hon utövar och punktmarkeras ständigt av media. I don't think about it. I, I go my life as if I'm, if I'm normal. I go everywhere, you know. Just I'm every I'm the same as this person next to me, and the per I'm I don't consider myself any different than anyone else. I never have, or I never will. But do you feel free? I mean, can you do whatever you want? I mean, um, usually I don't leave the room. I don't leave the hotel room. Um, but just sitting watching movies. And I'm crying. sitting watching movies and you know, crying. but I'm watching happy movies, so I don't cry. But uh, yeah, I don't leave the hotel room because it it does get a little hectic. But you know, it's just normal. I höst fyller Serena Williams 33 år. Hon är den äldsta världsättaren någonsin på damsidan i en sport där många av konkurrenterna nu mer är födda i början på 90-talet. I've had a wonderful career. I don't have to win again. I just and that's what I do now. I just enjoy myself and I think that's why I've been able to do so well recently is because I've been just really enjoying myself. I've been enjoying every moment and every match and and just living the life, so to say. Do you ever feel old? 
being here on the tour? I mean, with no, your competitors? You know, it's strange. So. I don't. You know, I feel like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm 32, I don't have time for this. But I mean, most times I'm really, like I told you, I'm really immature. I need to grow up. So most times I feel super, super young. But I guess on tour, yeah. I don't, I don't think about it so much. For how many years do you want to do this? You know, until I decide, until I wake up one morning and I say to myself, I don't feel like playing. And that's never happened, so. But you seem to be this spontaneous person, I'm, so I mean. Yeah, I'm very spontaneous. I'm super spontaneous, but there's only one thing that I know that I enjoy doing every day, and that's playing tennis.